Good morning. Um, today I'm going to be doing a day in the life of a PhD student. I had actually wanted to do a week in the life of a PhD student and I totally forgot to film anything yesterday because I was so, so crazy busy. <laughs> so we're going to do a day instead. Um, today is Tuesday, April 6th and I'm actually getting my COVID shot today too. Um, but it is just after 6.30 in the morning. That's why I look like I just woke up and I sound like I just woke up because I did. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is get ready for the day and then head to campus. So let's do this. All right. Well, I absolutely hate the way that my hair turned out, but I don't have time for fixing that. So I'm just going to do some quick little makeup. I'm actually probably just going to do concealer and mascara because I just... I've been feeling really lazy lately. Normally, or like historically, I used to really like doing some really fun makeups, but man, I just have not been waking up in time to do that lately. And by lately, I mean like the entirety of my PhD so far. Um, and then I figured while I was getting ready, we could just chat about what I have going on today. So um, I always typically get to the lab around eight in the morning or so. So that is going to be the plan today. And then I have to pop down into the lab to um, count some plates from sampling yesterday. And I have to do that in order to know how many plates I have to prepare for sampling today. And then I'm going to go back up to my office and do some kind of last minute studying for my test that I have today and tomorrow, or today and Thursday. Um, I have my transport class today. It's called Transport Phenomena. It's Ecam 533. And um, so our tests are just these like, it's one problem a day. So one problem today and then one problem on Thursday. It's open note, open book, um, and you just like do the problem. And they're easier than the homeworks in my opinion because they're just, they're very similar to the homeworks, which we've already done, you know. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of studying for that, just like reading through my notes and highlighting some important things, which I didn't get the chance to do yesterday because it was so, so busy. <laughs> um, so that is from 10.50 to 12.05. And then I am going to speed eat some lunch <laughs> and then run down to the lab and sample again because sampling yesterday took me about just over an hour and maybe 15 minutes but I need to do cleanup today as well. So I need to like autoclave all the waste and stuff before I leave. And I have my vaccine appointment at three. So it's going to be just like a little bit of a time crunch because I'll want to leave my desk, like be leaving my desk at 2.30 in order to make my vaccine appointment because I have to like walk to my car and then drive to um, the pharmacy for my vaccine. And then that's at three. And I'm pretty sure that they hold me there for a little bit just to make sure I'm okay. And then I have a lab meeting at 4 p.m. on WebEx. And that'll be from four to five. So honestly, this is like a pretty easy day for me um, compared to yesterday for sure. But uh, Mondays and Tuesdays are typically like my really heavy days because I do tend to front load my weeks because I get less and less productive as the week goes on. <laughs> But yeah, so unfortunately I'm not able to like take you into the lab and show you what I'm doing and everything, but I'll go try and keep you updated as the day goes on for what I'm doing. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I will see you in a second. Welcome to March in Montana. This weekend it was 70 degrees, yesterday it was raining and today it's snowing. So if you're ever curious what living in Montana is like, here's a snippet. <laughs> For breakfast, I'm having some leftover cinnamon rolls from the weekend that I made. Um, I usually have like a bagel or a breakfast burrito or something if I don't have something fun like this to eat. I did a while ago film uh, what I eat in a day for like PhD PhD student, which is still pretty current. Um, so if you want to check that out, you can check that out for ideas. But yes, yeah, bon appetit. I just made it to my parking spot near campus and I pretty much always like turn off the car and just sit here in silence for a little bit. Kind of prepping myself for the day, going through a quick little morning like to-do list and also just because I don't want to get out into the cold and snow. But it'll be fine. I can do it. I'm a big girl. 
but it is snowing and it's really wet snow so that's why I'm wearing my rain jacket on top of my puffy which is my like warm insulating layer and I have my rain boots on. First one in the office today. You can't read that, but it says my name. <laughs> I like to check on my plants. I'm looking good. Here we are. I am about to head down into the lab. It is 7.58 right now. I'm just trying to choose a podcast to listen to because I'll be down there for like an hour or so, which is perfect podcast length. Yeah. So this morning I was able to finish my last homework for transport and do a little bit of like studying through my notes and just highlighting some important things for this test that I'm about to go take. Um, this is day one of two days for the test, one problem each day. So I think it'll go pretty well. The last test was modeled pretty closely after examples we did in class and from the homework. So it shouldn't be too awful hopefully, <laughs> but I guess we'll see um, how it goes. So yeah, I'll be doing this until it's time for lunch. All right, well, I just finished the test. Um, the problem was like oddly simple and I'm wondering if I just like fully misinterpreted it. There were a couple times in the middle where I was like, no, this can't be it. And then I tried doing it like a different, more complicated way, but then I would truly not know how to do it. So I don't know. Um, but I finished in like 45 minutes. And so that means I have plenty of time to eat lunch before going down into the lab to sample, which is really nice. She actually um, laid out the offer to do the second part of the test today as well, like right after. Um, but I don't know that I would have been able to finish the problem in time for sampling and I'm on kind of a time crunch to be able to Sample and clean up and everything before I need to leave for my vaccine appointment So I'll just do that on Thursday with the rest of everyone else. So that's okay But I feel pretty good about it and I'm excited to go relax while I eat lunch I just left my office to go to my vaccine appointment and I cannot find my wallet, which means I gotta run home before the appointment, which is fine because I have plenty of time. This is why I wanted to leave early. So crap, oops. Okay, so here we're, we're, here's where we're at. I realized that my wallet actually is at my desk on campus and I remembered that because I had to pay this bill that's super annoying and a whole other story. And so I paid it this morning at like, 9 15 and so i know my wallet is on my desk at campus and my appointment is in eight minutes and so i realized this while i was actually driving to the appointment um not there yet and so i did grab my passport from home so i at least can show some identification i don't think 
I think if you, even if you don't have insurance, it's a free vaccine. I'm like 99% sure that's the case, but I'm really hoping they let me get it. And if they, if they require a freaking health insurance card, I don't have it with me. So I'd either have to bring it to them later, or if they just need the policy number, I'd probably just frantically call my dad and stepmom and have them give me the policy number so that I could relay it to them. So we'll see how this goes, but I'm kind of stressed about it now. So that's great. Update, I was able to get the vaccine. Um, I'm gonna scan and send my uh, insurance card tomorrow when I get back to my office. It just makes them easier. It's easier to bill an insurance company than it is to build a government. So I'm just gonna try and help out the pharmacist a little bit. He was a homie. Um, but yeah, I got my vaccine. It all went well. My arm doesn't feel that so, literally doesn't feel sore at all right now, but my closest people who have just gotten the vaccine yesterday, they all have pretty sore arms the day after and the night that they got the vaccine. So I don't know, we'll see. But I had obviously no adverse reactions or anything like that. So very excited. And now just time to go back to um, home <laughs> and join a virtual lab meeting type thing. Just got home, bam, from getting my vaccine. Oh yeah, and I got my next one scheduled for a month from today and it's gonna be at 2 p.m. I think but I have it on my vaccine card, which I need to take a scan of so that I have a permanent copy of. And I'm now, I think, I usually before my meetings try to either clean up the room or like do just a little bit more homework, but I'm starving. So I think I'm gonna eat a snack, but I could also eat my snack during the meeting. So I might actually do a little bit of cleanup. So that's what I'm going to do. Got my snack, got my WebEx open, ready to go. Oh, Seth texted me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, I've learned to just kind of <laughs> brush it off. Um, but, oh, so I did actually, I pulled more reactor broth from the lo long-term low nutrient and I plated it and I got zero growth. I don't know because in, on Saturday, in theory, if everything would have washed out and turned over, it should have happened by then. So I don't know if they were just able to hold on for that long at that low nutrient and then now they're just not able to. Just finished up with the lab meeting and now I'm going to clean my bathroom. I've been needing, meaning to clean my bathroom for a few days, but it's just been like so busy <laughs> and so I'm going to use it as like a break before I start working on some more like homework type stuff. So let's do it. is not honestly a good call but I'm going to do some final edits and read throughs of this um, little short essay that I have and it's just basically a description of some leadership experience I have for this thing called the grad graduate leadership academy that I am um, applying to and the application is due Friday so I'm gonna read through this and then I'm gonna start some slides for my first PhD committee meeting which is on Friday as well so that's the plan for tonight totally didn't check in for like the last three hours. <laughs> um, I've been working a little bit on my PowerPoint for my committee meeting, which is on Friday. And then I just spent some time hanging out with my roommate and trying to figure out how we want to go about finding a new roommate um, because our other one is moving out in May after he graduates. And then uh, my boyfriend came over for dinner, so we had some leftovers for dinner. And then now I'm back upstairs on, on my bed um, looking at my PowerPoint again. 
Um, I very, very rarely actually look at anything in my bed. I am most often at my desk or down at the kitchen table, but I just got my vaccine today. My arm is really starting to get some soreness into it. I feel fine otherwise, but I just, I just want to sit in my bed, so that's what I'm doing. I have this list of things to include in the PowerPoint, like to go over in the meeting on Friday that my advisor and I kind of came up with. So just kind of putting some stuff together for that. So I'm going over my qualifying exam, which I took back in February. And um, so then I'm also going to talk about my program of study, which is basically all the classes that I'm going to take throughout my time and just see if they have any suggestions for what classes to take. I already know one of my uh, committee members suggested the statistics class that I forgot which one it was. So we'll see if they have any suggestions and then which classes I might be able to like swap out later down the line. Um, the document that I have for the actual program of study, I have it on my work computer at my office, so I can't fully fill this out right now. Um, and then I'm also looking at fellowships and grants. So ones that I've submitted to and then ones that my advisor as well as the other people on the committee are submitting to. So just trying to figure out how to throw all of this together. But I also need to throw in some results on my actual current work as well as some bigger questions and hypotheses that I could look into for an actual dissertation because right now I'm kind of just doing research um, that is more like technician based. So it would be like, like what I'm doing, you wouldn't really f center a dissertation around. I mean, you can, I just need to look into like more things about it. Cause right now I'm mostly just looking into how coatings might prevent biofilm growth, but I need to dig deeper for that because this is something that just like a research and development type lab or something could do. Um, and so if I'm going to be doing this for three years as a project, I need to come up with some like deeper questions and stuff. So those are things that I have to think about. Um, I'll probably run through this on Thursday in my individual meeting with my advisor before having it then with the committee on Friday. So um, yeah, that's something that I have to think about as well, but it's only gonna be like an hour long meeting and it's on Friday from two to 3 p.m., which I'm kind of upset about. I hate Friday obligations anything past noon on a Friday I don't want to go to <laughs> so it kind of sucks that that I had to choose that day but it was either Friday or some point in May like mid-May I kind of just want to get it out of the way so that's what it's going to be but I think I'm actually just about to hop in the shower wash my hair and do all these things kind of start winding down for the night and then I'm actually going to head over to my boyfriend's house and probably spend the night there. Um, so I'll probably just like shower and then get all my stuff together, get ready for the day tomorrow, and then um, maybe watch some YouTube to wind down. Maybe start editing this video together. That's probably what I'll do. So I will check in again later. It is 9.22 and typically if I'm spending the night by myself, I am crawling in bed and going to sleep around 9.30, maybe a little bit earlier so I can read, sometimes a little bit later, but when I'm spending the night with my boyfriend, bedtime is usually more like 10.45 to 11 p.m. just because of when he gets off work. So I'm about to head over to his place. Um, he's still at work right now, but I'm just going to kind of wind down there and work on editing this video, I think, and just be ready to go to bed when he gets home. Um, but yeah, so that is it for a day in the life of a PhD student at Montana State University in chemical engineering. I never actually mentioned the fact that I'm a PhD student in chemical engineering. Um, but it didn't seem like that busy of a day, but in reality I did spend about three and a half hours in lab today. And so because I'm spending that time in lab, you guys can't see it, so it probably doesn't seem like I'm doing a whole lot, but these lab days can often feel like the busiest days because uh, I can't be doing other things I need to get done. But anyway, um, that wraps it up for me, and I'll maybe do a couple more of these probably during the summer uh, when I don't have class. Maybe I'll have some like fun things going on. Who knows? But I do have a whole playlist of other PhD grad school content type stuff, so check that out if you want to see more, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!